Welcome back, Doom fans. Lazy Gamer here. With sounds and music out of the way, we can finally get to the real exciting part adding custom things to the map. Custom things is like any other vanilla thing a collection of sprites, visuals, possibly animations of same, sounds, and uh, other effects. Although, I'm going to add several different things during the next series of videos, mostly to show how they can vary in setup. The principle is mostly the same for all of them, so what you learn here will be the same across the board for every type of thing. To start with, I will add a weapon, a new shotgun into the game, courtesy of Realm667, but it can really be anything. We will need one final folder for the sprites, but otherwise I believe our folder structure is complete. If that turns out to be wrong, and it might be, then so be it, we'll add it then. Anyway, let's go! What are we waiting for? Alright. So, we talked about... Um, things. So let's actually add one. I chose the, this shotgun. It's in a WAD format. We need to do some more things with it. But, f or copy things from it. Um, first, we are going to add our final um, folder called sprites. At least I think it's the last folder. I have been known to be wrong before. Anyway, let's drag our shotgun in here. And then maximize. Now, there are several things here. Let's start with this. These are sprite uh, images. They look something like this. It's the weapon and the animation for it in uh, when you have it in Doom. Here is the one that's supposed to show up when you find it. We, all those are sprites. We are going to select all of them. We are going to control copy. Go into our sprites folder and add it. Now, these are obviously <laughs> sounds. They, where do you think they go? Obviously in here. Now, that's the um, defining parts out of the way. We have credits. Well, let's call him Zing. Just to put him out of the way. Zim, Zim. Um, I think he stole the sprites, <laughs> uh, but uh, that's fine. Um, credits. T X T. There you go. Yeah, 
these are some new files. Well, info we can, uh, that's something to do with that. We don't need that. It's just a description. I, I, I'm not gonna add it. You can if you want to. Key config. That is a new uh, thing. It configures what key it is uh, added to. It's a shotgun. Shotguns in Doom are defaulted to three. You can have more than one under it, so this doesn't matter. Sound info we do have, so we'll... Don't we? Yes, we do. But decorate and key config is new. This is um, a file that specifies how the weapon works. I'm not going to go through there. I have no idea how that works. But we need to add it. So we are going to add our new uh, files directly in. Like so. Uh, and this we have one like this already so we are simply going to copy these and paste them into our already existing uh, sound info under here so this is from everything uh, this and this and that and we have all that there yeah, so we can close this um, now what do we do now are uh, is the weapon inside our uh, builder, can we just add it? No, we can't. We have to go back to the Z map info and add a few things. So we're gonna take a look at them now. Magic numbers. Uh, we need to add uh, a custom uh, tag number. To do that, we have to define define uh, what are called Doom Ed numbers, Doom Editor numbers. So we, we can really put them anywhere. I'm going to put them at the top because we have to. Uh, do that and uh, we're going to go back and do more stuff in here so it's better to have it on the top so we do uh, the numbers goes here for that's wrong so we add simply Doom head number. Doom head num with uh, D, E, and N capital, and the rest is not. It should be recognized. And we need one of these. 
and one of those. Brackets. Add brackets. Let's tag in. Now, what, which number of those are um, available? Well, several variations using the same engine uses different numbers for different things. But if we go down here, that's a long list of uh, things. You'll notice that between 14,165 and um, 32,000 to... Uh, 32,000. 32, There's a gap. So uh, let's start adding our numbers. 1,500 and up. 15,000 and up, sorry. Math. So, 15,000 equals activated in the builder and we need the builder to add it so we can see it in the game um, and to see anything I believe in the builder we come back to the uh, GZ um, Doom PK3, which we added in our uh, preparations video. I hope you did that. Otherwise, we will get an exclamation mark. Um, that is not... It's not... 100% required to add it, but uh, you can still add the exclamation mark and get it get the correct item in game but it would be nice to actually see what you're adding so that's why we did that in the to start with now let's see if we can't add our shotgun in game let's go so Let's see if we can't uh, make a shotgun appear. Um, at least I hope it works now. I had a bit of a typo. I couldn't get it to work and I had to figure that out. It should work now. Add thing. Remove Obviously, I forgot to refresh. That is the first thing you should uh, test if... Um... There we go! User defined! Finally. Hop action shotgun. Hmm. 
And that uses shells, doesn't it? So let's just give it some ammo. Just for kicks. That's fine. Here we go. Um, I'm not going to go in and um, test it. We know it's there. Uh, we'll go and test it once we have added a few more things. But that's really how you add, well, custom things in general and uh, shotguns <laughs> in more specific terms. I am going to add more things in the next videos, next cup, <laughs> next series of videos. Like I said, there are a few differences with how things are uh, set up, but you have pretty much learned how to add custom things. Next time we will add custom monsters. Aren't you excited? Scared? Well, whatever. Whatever it you might feel. Chapter 10 will feature monsters. In the meantime, this has been your host, the Lazy Gamer. Logging off. Bye, guys. <laughs>